I'm Barbara Morangello. I'm in the psychology department here at the University of Guelph. Uh, my undergraduate degree was from Douglas College, which is a women's campus as part of Rutgers University in New Jersey. And my graduate degree was at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst, Massachusetts. Nice. My doctoral thesis has nothing to do with the research I'm currently doing, um, but I think that's fairly common. People sort of change their, their life course um, several times. Um, it was actually a research project looking at how babies learn patterns. Um, in the world. No, and it was one of the first projects to demonstrate that very young infants are quite capable of learning um, musical auditory patterns. After I finished my PhD, I went and did a postdoc at U of T, um, working in an auditory development lab. And uh, from that, I went and took a job at Western uh, University which was the University of Western Ontario at the time, but now is Western University. And um, I worked there for several, probably three to five years, and at some point I decided to complete my clinical training at Children's Hospital um, in London, uh, and, and that allowed me to be registered as a child clinical psychologist. And during that training, I spent a lot of time at the Children's Hospital and became very aware of how many children are injured, how many families are affected by serious catastrophic injury to their children, which sort of piqued my interest then in trying to understand injury and eventually injury prevention. And that sort of eventually got me to Guelph. I just always really loved uh, working with children and being with children. They're very awe-inspiring. Um, and they make you stay focused on the happy in the world for the most part. And they just, uh, they're full of hope. And it's, I just always enjoy time with children and want to be a part of sort of helping to shape them and, I don't know, have, have, be a positive part of their life and create some positive experiences for them and that kind of thing. So my undergraduate degree was in child psychology and um, I did a teaching um, certification as well and taught for a year preschool and then decided I really wanted the research piece and went to graduate school after that. I was always a fairly conscientious student um, because I always treated I think every course as an opportunity sort of be exposed to something that I knew nothing about but the professor was passionate about so um, I was very fortunate Douglas College is a very um, sort of high quality education place and it was mostly women faculty because it was a women only campus so it was mostly women faculty and women deans and women president and so you went there and just felt like wow I can do all kinds of things with my life other than just get a degree right so I think it was very inspiring and it helped me to be a really good student because that was just the expectation and everybody was doing it and why miss the opportunity of learning from a professor who was really excited about their subject matter right so my research broadly is on injury prevention in children and one major focus right now is on pedestrian um, injury prevention because children suffer um, a lot of deaths related to being hit by cars, buses, things like that. So uh, one of the challenges in doing research in the area is that you can't really put children <laughs> in traffic and say, show me how you cross the street. <laughs> so we decided to create a virtual uh, pedestrian uh, street, cross street crossing environment. And that's what we did here at the University of Guelph. I have a virtual reality lab. And so children come in at different ages and different environments. And we basically are able to observe how they cross streets in different traffic conditions and when they wind up doing risky things and when they get themselves out of the jam and when they don't. So obviously no child gets hit in a virtual reality um, laboratory. We're able to sort of stop the car and just sort of let them know they would have gotten hit. Uh, but it is a very real simulation. Um, so it's, an, it's providing really excellent insights into how children um, are getting hit by cars as they try and cross. Often they're focusing on the distance of the car rather than considering also the speed at which it is moving. So they'll see a car that's far away and think, oh, far away, I'm okay. <laughs> um, and they start crossing and they don't continue to look as they're crossing. They talk to their friends or look at their phone or you know look ahead where they're walking, that kind of thing. Because the car was so far away, they didn't realize that, you know, 
the car is actually going very quickly and is going to be here very much sooner than you anticipated. Um, so that's one kind of scenario that leads to them being injured because they're not paying attention to both speed and distance, which is fairly complicated. Certainly one is that you don't want to, you know, blow opportunities, right, miss opportunities by not taking your coursework seriously. I think uh, it's, you know, it's, it's really an opportunity to be at a university where you have good classes and good professors and just tremendous things that you can select from um, in terms of course content. So I think that's really important. Um, obviously, it is about balance. So it is about sort of finding yourself and taking time to explore different relationships and have some fun and all of that. But you have to balance that with the reason you're here, which is to get a good education. Um, and, you know, it is about balancing, you know, risk with security, right? So you want to try some things you haven't tried or explore, um, you know, courses that are in areas you didn't know you had an interest in, but you might, so it's worth trying. Um, but you also need to find what you're good at because really success is going to come from um, finding what you're good at that brings you pleasure. I love the University of Guelph. I find that the people here are very friendly. Um, they work together really well, at least the people I work with, the professors, the students are really motivated. Um, and it's just a very collegial um, place. Well, I, I do like working with students. They are, um, they are humbling to work with them because they sometimes have just the most creative ideas and their simplicity and their innovation and um, I think particularly um, students this these days are so enamored with you know technology that the idea that we couldn't do something is just like foreign to them um, so I mean my virtual reality lab is um, an excellent example of that everyone said it couldn't be done what I was trying to do um, and I thought, I think I can do this if I can just get the right talent in the room. And it was students who built my lab. It was computer science, master's students from Guelph and University of Waterloo and systems design students, and they just thought this could be done, and they made it happen. So I love working with students.